Good evening, everyone. This is Henry Gamble with SimplerOptions.com, and in today's free video, I wanted to step back and review gold with you once again. So, gold and precious metals in general have been a very hot topic as of late. Uh, really, for the first quarter of 2016, they've been very important because gold has seen such a nice rally inside what was previously a very bearish trend. So, kind of has everyone's attention, and it's something that I think merits more attention because there is an active setup in it. Now when we come back to gold and you look at the daily chart, there's really not a lot that has changed from the idea that the squeeze would fire along and eventually take us up into our next primary voodoo line. So I like it up there at 1332 just fine. It might take some time to allow that idea to play out during the week of monthly expiration. You can kind of see some odd movement and that may keep things under a wrap for the next four days, but in the big scheme of things, this still looks like an excellent setup. A lot of times what I will do on this too and say, okay, maybe I don't have the perfect squeeze in gold, but then you can always come back to silver as the two will tend to work with each other. Of course, it's not a perfect correlation, but the main thing I see here is that we have a fresh squeeze in silver and also a very nice overhead target at this 1942 level. So give these ideas a little bit of time to play out, be willing to step into further dated contracts to work these moves. And then also what I wanted to just try and tie in here a little bit more loosely is the idea that precious metals have been kept down to some degree due to the strength in the dollar. Okay, the way I approach this, or at least the thought process of it, is to say, has the trend of the dollar shifted? No, we are still making a pattern of high, or, you know, lower highs and lower lows, and that I'm going to keep playing it that way until it clearly and obviously shifts, and I think that's going to take some serious time. Now, while I may not have perfect levels there in the dollar, other than just saying it's failing from the 50-day, if we come over and take a look at the euro, it is sitting on some nice support based off of the fire line at 112. So if the euro can hold this level, I will look for the dollar to pull back off of that, and then one other pair that may also be useful is the dollar yen is something that has failed from the fire line after the Bank of Japan did not come through on that last stimulus idea, that failure, based off of being you know, kind of a big, a big decision that they made, not to mention a fire line, and then also noting that this also takes you into some metrical resistance, along with a retracement of that previous swing, I think this is a very important area of resistance, very similar to what we covered in the euro and the dollar itself. If these levels can hold, that should allow the dollar to soften up a bit, and maybe that will allow precious metals to be on their way. So that's one of the bigger charts that I've been focusing on. I will continue to look at it as I think it has a lot of great opportunities. Try to weather the storms in that one, and we will update you as it unfolds. You guys have a great night, and we will see you at the next free video.